Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Today I wanted to share with you what I got for my birthday. These are gonna be all the things that I received from friends and family, as well as a couple of PR packages. I wanted to start off with this beautiful bouquet of flower. These are so pretty and I love the orange flower and the yellow flower. Why? Yellow is Caden's favorite color. He's my nephew who is five years old. We were just walking through their front porch and I knocked on the door and the first thing I see was him handing me the bouquet at the door. That was so adorable. So thank you so much Caden and of course my um, family who help him buy it. I'm really excited about this one because it's from my friend and partner in crime, Kat L. You guys must know her because if you watch the Luxury Live show, she's the one that is right beside me and we have been doing the Luxury Live show for over two years now. Whatever it is inside, I just want to say thank you in advance. Seriously, no idea what this is, but the box was perfect. <laughs> Okay, let's see inside. There's a card. Dear Amy, happy birthday, babe. Wishing you all the amazing wishes and hope you are having a blast celebrating. We are. So many celebrations, in fact, because um, I'm actually dressed for another celebration. We're going for another dinner and it's not just for me because there are so many July birthdays in my family. It's actually in my husband's family, so we are always celebrating. <laughs> May all of your age dreams come true, lol, and all the age fairy dust happily sprinkle over you this month. We are nuts. <laughs> yes, we are. Super random, but apparently this is... Oh, this went viral on TikTok. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Babe, I already have this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have this one. You see, this is the one that I have. And um, you sent me another one. For those of you who are interested, it's the black honey. It looks very dark, but it doesn't go on super dark. Wash your brushes. I was telling her one time that I hadn't washed my brush in like a year. I know it's super bad, but I also don't use them. Like obviously I have a bunch of brushes and like there were a bunch of them sitting in the corner unwashed for a long time. Maybe not a, maybe not a year, but like a long time. Nothing against vegan, but these are the bomb. <laughs> what? Sonia G, Sonia G, and this one is Chikohodo. Apparently this is one of the holy grail brushes that, oh my goodness, that all the beauty, um, the, the, the beauty community loves to use. So this one is the gorgeous Chikohoto powder brush. It is really soft. Oh my goodness. I will wash my brushes, don't worry, especially when they're this fancy. <laughs> this one looks like an eye brush by Sonia G. Yeah, perfect for my eye makeup, which I have been wearing a lot lately. Cheek brush. Oh, it's such a small cheek brush. So cute. Oh my goodness. So soft. It's like perfect for like if you wanted to do a perfect contour or like a perfect you know how like I'm using right now I'm using my blush almost as a contour as well I just kind of like pull it all the way up so but this is this is such a small cheek brush so you can get a lot of precision out of it use these after washing it will keep your brushes in shape oh so that's what it is I was wondering what the heck this was these look very familiar because... <laughs> and it says it's for the 22 bag. Get your 22 bag. So these are the um, inserts for the sides to protect the sides of your bag. And it looks like I need to get my 22 bag now because she sent me a whole set plus two extra ones because apparently they can come off. Um, and these are really hard to buy because you basically have to have an account on Taobao and also know how to read Chinese in order to buy them. So it's um, not the easiest thing to buy, but if you have a friend that uses Taobao in Asia, then you can ask them to help you with it. But yeah, she told me about these and she said that she would send me some before. So I just need to get my bag back. Thank you so much, Kat. These are perfect brushes for my makeup routine. I am just enjoying makeup a lot more, especially because now I do wear a lot of luxury makeup. Even though I tend to do the same things over and over, um, which I 
actually prefer to do that because I like to hit pan on everything um, but it's just nice to use the better stuff this is from my brother so it's a family gift and <laughs> we were talking about teeth when my mom was here and don't be grossed out but like my mom actually never ever flosses her teeth never knew how to floss her teeth because it's not really a popular thing at least back then a long time ago and especially not in Hong Kong but I guess she has very very good immune system and very good oral health because she has zero cavities which in contrast to us we have so many cavities and we do floss and everything but I guess the diet is so different back then and everything anyway we were talking about teeth I learned discovered that both my mom and my brother were using the water pick and um, I guess it's more of a recent thing. So my mom is actually water flossing now, my brother as well. And so I was like, oh, how is it? Because I use regular string floss and they were all raving about it. And I said, oh, okay, I'll look into it. Next thing you know, my brother just got it for me. So <laughs> this was my birthday gift, I suppose. But I wanted to ask all the dentists out there. I know there's quite a few of you who are actual dentists by profession. What do you think of water flossing versus string flossing versus doing both or one or the other? I did some research myself and I hear mixed reviews. I hear some people are just gonna do water flossing for the rest of their life and their dentists don't care that they don't do string flossing. I heard that string flossing um, will never be replaced by water flossing but water flossing is also a, a great addition if not a, an essential it's actually not really flossing it's just supposed to like clean your gums or around your gum your gums or just right underneath your gums so you get a better clean um, other than the string floss going between your teeth I think that's the more accurate uh, based on my research but I just still wanted to know from like the actual professionals who are out there because I haven't had the chance to ask my dentist yet <laughs> but anyway this is what I got if you are a dentist let me know what um, what um, you think of this water flosser and water flossing in general I uh, don't have any particularly bad uh, oral health or oral issue I just have you know cavities from when I was younger and every time I go to the dentist my teeth are always always perfectly fine aside from the uh, slight uh, recessive gums uh, but that's about it I think that's the only issue I have I find that stockings are just such a tricky thing to find the right ones especially in terms of like durability but apparently threads is known for their stockings and i'm super excited to try their products so this is just a wash bag their factory is in northern italy which is the capital of luxury hoisery and uh, it's a family-owned business oeko tex 100 certified and step certified which i have no idea what they mean but they're just some sort of like high standard <laughs> certification this is what you can read about them if you want to just screenshot the paper or you can just visit the website. I will have them linked down below. This is not a sponsored post. They were just really kind enough to send me some samples to try. So let's take a look at what I got. Sheer Ivory Size A. So yeah, I ordered everything in size A because I just went by their size chart. Good for the slightly warmer weather. Yeah, I can tell that they are slightly reinforced there. And this is how they look like. I know it doesn't look like much without putting it on, which Honestly, I am like sweating like a pig because it's so hot. So I'm not going to try it on right now, but I have only heard great things about this company. So I shall let you know when I get a chance to actually try these on one day, but I'm not going to try it on right now. I just wanted to show it to you guys. This is the black version of the sheer one. I will admit I'm not someone who wears stockings all the time, but whenever I needed some, I I am like literally hating my life because the ones that I have, I just don't like, but I have to wear something. So I just, I'm just kind of stuck with what I have. Uh, so I'm really excited to try these ones. So this one is an opaque one. And then this one is also a sheer to waist, uh, just like a slightly different version of the sheer one. And this is the opaque one. Oh yeah, definitely a lot thicker, you can tell. So, so this is the short portion. 
and then the bottom as you can see is this a lot more opaque i remember now so i wanted to also try just like the one where they didn't have the actual short on top it's just like sheer all over which um actually this one is great for the summer because it's not as hot probably okay so this is me telling you that these are holy grail holy shit you should get them they're really really nice like i'm not even joking just get them because if you need invisible bras and you've been trying a different ones and they're just all kind of okay you will not be disappointed by these ones completely flush through your skin it feels sturdy it feels like you can definitely reuse and wash multiple times it feels like a really great material so yeah this is future me telling you that you should get them <laughs> this feels nice like these feel like actual like you can really wash it type of silicone because the ones that i have is like a piece of soft silicone and wrapped in plastic i don't know if that makes any sense so that's what's against my color and this is N1. So this is what N1 looks against my skin tone, which I think is pretty close. You guys all know in the summertime, you definitely need these, especially when you're wearing kind of like a spaghetti tank top and whatever, and you don't want to wear an actual full bra. So these are perfect. And I got it in two colors. This is N2 and this is N1. So these are from Threads and it's a really, really nice, like you can tell, like the material is sturdy and it's probably gonna last a lot longer this one on the other hand feels different this one feels a more flimsy this one feels more like it feels like you will have a lot of use out of this for a long time take my word for it if you're looking for something like this um, for the summertime and by the way guys make sure you always keep these plastics because you need to store them back when you wash the bra of another PR package from Hey Viva. They sent me some gym wear. Hey Viva's founder, Mira, is a yoga instructor. In her yoga session, she and her yogis were troubled by the common injuries, asking how could we help sculpt every woman into better health while maintaining everyday style and comfort. Stereoscopic, rebound, breathable, body shaping. Constantly finding new ways to, at helping people and customers find better confidence. So it looks like it's sportswear or yoga wear and it's supposed to provide shape, like a nicer shape. And uh, yeah, same with the bras. So with the bras, I think it makes total sense to have these um, paddings. But for the bum, that's a little strange for me. They're very cute though. Should I try them on? By the way, this is my outfit today. I love this dress. This is one of my favorite self-portrait dress. That's how it looks like inside. So there is Two sides of the bum has some padding and yeah, they sent me a size small. I was never self-conscious about my bum anyway. Like I always knew that I had narrow hips compared to, you know, the rest of my body, but they're pretty cute actually. It makes me look like I have a lot more bum than I do, <laughs> which is not a bad thing actually. They came in these bags. I didn't have any obligation to talk about them or anything, but I, I figured it's nice to talk about them, especially if they look decent. I should, I should at least let you guys know, right? Like, it's pretty cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this casual birthday haul. Stay tuned for more serious ones. Yes, I know. I know I'm so slow, but it's coming, I promise. There's gonna be some really exciting sharing. Thank you so much for watching, and I would love to have you back if you decide to subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!